paramedic project, practical tips for novice paramedics. Today we're talking about the primary survey in episode one. Uh, the primary survey is so important because it really forms the foundation of a thorough patient assessment. In my experience, it's something that not a lot of people do on every single patient they see. Whether that's because you are working in a city station and you're seeing lots of people who aren't critically ill, you drop that from your patient assessment or because you work in a country station where you're not seeing many patients and you become a little bit complacent. So it's important that this becomes part of your paramedic practice very early on in your careers. Um, so my tips for doing a great primary survey, first of all, is uh, you need to do it on every patient. Second of all, you need to actually touch the patient uh, when you do this primary survey. And that means that you need to actually take a peripheral pulse. It's not putting an SpO2 monitor or a SATS probe on the person's finger. Um, so I'll just demonstrate how I take a primary survey on a conscious patient. Um, so first of all, um, my primary survey starts obviously when I arrive at the person's at, at where the patient is. Uh, so I'm assessing for danger, of course, that's the most important thing. And I've got my personal protective equipment on, my gloves, my eyewear, things like that to make sure that I'm safe, my partner's safe and the, and the patient's safe as well. Uh, second of all, when I'm approaching the patient is when I start uh, assessing their response. If they're a conscious patient, I introduce myself, hi sir, how are you going? And uh, their response to me tells me whether they're conscious or not, or their level of consciousness. So on approach to the conscious patient, you introduce yourself, when they respond to you, that's a sign the patient's conscious. If they talk back to you, that's a sign that they've got a, a patent airway that's, that they're protecting themselves. The next step on the process is to assess their, is to, is to assess their respiratory rate. And I do this by, first of all, asking the patient, Sir, do you mind if I take your pulse? I take, their pul I, I take their wrist as if I'm taking a pulse, but I'm actually looking at their chest at this stage. And with my watch in the foreground and their chest in the background, I can easily assess their respiratory rate. It's good to, it's good to hold the patient's wrist uh, so that they don't adjust their own respiratory rate when, when you're actually taking it. At this stage, the patient thinks I'm taking a peripheral pulse, but I'm actually assessing their rest rate. And then finally, I'll get to their peripheral pulse which I then take, and then that's, a, that's our complete primary survey. This is really gonna guide you uh, further in your management with the patient and, and to give you a very good idea in the first minute or so with the patient uh, exactly what's going on. So thanks for joining us and uh, check us out on social media. We'll see you next time.